Hello friends. In this video, I will be talking about calculation groups and tooltips. Calculation groups are very, very powerful. You can achieve a lot of your reporting requirements or odd use cases using calculation groups. In this particular video, I'm going to talk about how calculation groups help enhance the user experience in our report, how we can enhance the use of tooltips with the help of calculation groups. Let's get to Power BI and take a look. All right, so here we have a report, a, which is a showing the sales number of orders, orders quantity and sales by product category and further drill down by product, I think. Uh, all these are measures, number of orders. Uh, if we look into those number of order, is just a distinct count of sales order number. Order quantity is probably sum of quantity and sales is sum of sales. So the ask here is the user want, when they hover over on a cell, they want to see the tooltip with a trend line over uh, let's say period month or year and and uh, whatever we put on the tooltip right now uh, what we have here is as we, as we hover over by default shows the tooltip the value of that particular uh, uh, cell so what i did is i added a tooltip page pretty simple in the tooltip page i used month on x-axis and number of orders, orders quantity and sales on my, as in a measure. And then I go back to my metrics, no calculation groups page. So here I set the tooltip uh, to use turned on and report page and tooltip, uh, no calculation groups. So once this has been set, as we hover over the cell, now we see the tooltip, but it shows the tooltip of all the three different measures. So if I go to mountain bikes, which has more data, so it shows the sales trend over month, and it also shows the number of orders and the order quantity, but they are very small against uh, total sales, so this, this seems like a straight line. Now, the question underline is, if a user hover over on a cell, if you have a number of orders, want to see the trend of number of orders. If I'm an orders quantity cell, I want to see the order quantity trend and so forth, so on. Out of the box, unfortunately, that is not possible. And this is where calculation group is going to help. Let, I already created calculation groups, but I will do it from scratch uh, just to go over how we created it. So let's uh, let's look at this. To create a calculation group, we need to go to a Tableau Editor external tool. So I'm using Tableau Ex Editor version two. So once this opens up, so we're gonna create a calculation group. Let's call the measure, or maybe anyhow, that's fine, and change the name to uh, measure as well and we will add three calculation items in here one is number of orders one is order quantity and the third one is sales in number of orders what we want to return is our number of orders measure. In order quantity, we want to return our order quantity measure. And in sales, we want to return our sales measure. And let's uh, upload the changes, see if there's no error, if I use the correct measure, so all fine. Now we have a calculation group called measure which has a three calculation items. So Power BI model is asking us to refresh. So let's refresh that. 
Okay, I'm I'm turning off tooltip for now. What we're going to do here is instead of using three measures here, we are going to use our measure calculation group and brought that into the columns and use any of the measures, let's use sales measure in our values. So what we see is we have number of orders, we have orders quantity, and we have a sales. But the format of all this is not dollar because that's what we used here. We can control this with the calculation groups. Let's quickly go and change that. Number of orders under the format string when it's number of orders, what we want is just no decimal or the quantity assuming there is no decimal quantity we want to do same format string and for sales what we want to do is uh, maybe no decimals uh, to keep it a little tidy and let's apply the change and now we see the number of orders or the quantity and sales uh, in the format. So now how it, it helps with the tooltip. So what we will do is we will create uh, another tooltip page or actually the same tooltip page. And in this tooltip page, instead of using again those three um, measures, we will do the same thing. We will just Put this keep the sales here and then from our measure uh, calculation group we will bring the measure onto the legend and this is how it looks like right now so that's let's say once we, now let's go back to our matrix what we're going to do here is we're going to turn off uh, turn on our tooltip and on and the report page and tooltip is no calculation group so we have made the changes there so now let's see how this works now so if I hover over this cell so now I see the trend of number of orders by year or by month in this case or I am sorry or if I go to order quantity I see the trend of the order quantity and if I go to sales, I see the trend of the sales. So anywhere we hover now on this cell, we see that there is no sales for these guys, just only in December uh, month, that's what is showing. So if I go to the total line, it gives me the trend of the total. So in nutshell, with the help of the calculation groups, we able to achieve how we can show our tooltip in our matrix visual and this can be used in a multiple places in a multiple ways as well but this is in a one example just by creating a calculation group and adding those items give us to create this user-friendly report when the user hover over in a matrix cell it shows the trend of tool in the tool tape it shows the trend of that particular cell or the measure what we are hovering over I will be doing another video on calculation groups, actually few more on calculation groups. Stay tuned. Do subscribe my channel. The link is in, in the description. And do share your comments, what you think about this video and other videos I posted. And anything else you want to see in the videos, do let me know. Until next video, have a good day. Bye for now.